Chi2 MagSafe. What's the difference? I'm gonna tell you, so let's check it out. What's up guys, welcome back to Michael's Tech Talk. So, if you're aware of wireless charging and you're aware of MagSafe and you're aware of Qi2, then maybe be aware of what these two things are. But quite a lot of people that I speak to don't really know the difference between MagSafe and Qi2. So I'm just gonna break it down for you. So the current wireless charging standard has been Qi, which gives you wireless charging speeds up to seven and a half watts of charging speed wirelessly which is okay. MagSafe allows iPhone users to charge with 15 watts of wireless charging. And with the new Qi2 coming in, Qi2 is going to also allow uh, 15 watts of wireless charging for the likes of Android devices, which will support Qi2. So what's the difference? Does this affect your purchases of what you need to be buying? Well, uh, both these chargers are magnetic. Uh, the phones and accessories will secure to the chargers via magnets, and they will allow 15 watt wireless charging. Now, the difference being MagSafe is Apple certified. So typically brands need to pay a little bit more for the licensing costs for MagSafe. And in turn, the difference that you get with this is the likes of these little sort of MagSafe animations that you'll get when you dock a device on. You know, that is Apple certified stuff, right? So brands pay a little bit more for that. The devices are usually a little bit more expensive. Uh, Qi 2 is uh, gonna be just same thing, wireless charging, which is magnetic, 15 watts of wireless charging, and your Android devices will be compatible. Moving on, uh, at the moment, the likes of the S24 Ultra doesn't support G2 wireless charging, so there's no magnets built into the phone, but if you do have the likes of this uh, Thinborn case, for example, on the S24 Ultra, you can dock that on and it can charge wirelessly with no issues. You can also get 15 watt wireless charging then for the 15 Pro Max, because it is G2 compatible, and that will connect on and you will still get, you know, all the good things of MagSafe. That's pretty much the difference. Apple has uh, been a big factor in getting Qi 2 to be the wireless standard moving forward. So kudos to Apple for opening the door and getting this concept in as a standard because having used this on the iPhone, I want to have the same experience across the board. So in essence, uh, with these both being the stand one from Nomad, uh, is there any benefit to buying the uh, Apple MagSafe version to buy in the Qi 2 version? And the short answer is no, there isn't really. You're gonna get 15 watts of wireless charging with both. And yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit more for the Apple certified MagSafe version, but you'll still get all the same things with the Qi 2. So just buy the Qi 2. So are you guys looking forward to Qi 2 coming to Android as a standard? Let me know in the comments down below. Personally, I would like it because it will then push accessory makers to make the magnetic rings in the Android cases as a standard, which then makes it better for everyone in my opinion, because then we can all have uh, awesome chargers and car mounts and that kind of thing. And it's pretty much a standard across the board. So you don't have to be an iPhone user to experience all this goodness. At the moment, I am experiencing this with cases for Android, but I would like it to be a standard across the board. So uh, I'm happy to see it coming. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, I will give you a link in the description down below for these stands uh, from Nomad. They are absolutely top quality and I would highly recommend that you pick them up. And another good thing I will mention actually as well, see with the MagSafe version, the cable is fixed into this one uh, on the uh, Qi 2 cables removable which is pretty sweet by the g2 version it's cheaper and then you can put a longer cable on it it's all good hope you like the video guys if you found it useful drop me a like on this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the description down below and of course if you haven't already click that subscribe button and ring that little bell to be notified of new videos just like this one i'm gonna go uh, keep logged to the channel i have a lot more content coming for you guys and if you want some more down to earth tech review and accessory videos you know where to come and until the next one I'll catch you later.